everyone. This is uh Saki Nikaido stuff by Lunch Anime 2023 here and um It's time we're back Yes it is time for my hundred and twentieth horror anime story of Grumful Curse but season two and uh, uh as I always say if you guys haven't seen season one, please go check that one out because it's honestly where you need to start and it's going to be helpful. Uh, that put aside though, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified for more newest content on the channel. And no, I'm not crying, my eye is watering and it's annoying. It's fucking annoying. Uh, there's really nothing more in the beginning of this video that I have to say other than let's hop straight into uh, season two of A Grimful Curse. Yeah, uh, season two part one that is. And I'll try to do a perfect recap, but let's go ahead and hop straight into it. Okay. Alright. Now it is time for... Season 2 of A Grimful Curse. Uh, season 2 is called A Grimful Curse Prison Island, which begins... Or I should say, which continues the middle-ish of the story, of this horror anime story. Uh, but begins chapter 6. Yeah. There is more to the chapter name, but we'll just go with... The car crash. Yeah. So. Eh, there's really nothing to say for season one's uh, recap. Recap nation. There's nothing to say for it. Other than just go watch it for yourself. Because it's time for season two. Uh, but yeah. Like I said, I'm not gonna say the rest of the sixth chapter name because that'd be spoiler. I didn't think of it. Other than let's just say it's the car crash. There you go. It's perfect. God. Okay. July 4th. 2018 at Stevens House, 10 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m., no other numbers there. Yep. So Steven was, or is, a main character of the story. There were only, like, three deaths of season one. So, he was introduced in the last season. You understand. But... I don't know. I like his character so far. Here we go. So, yeah. Like I said, July 4th, 2018 at Stevens House, 10 a.m. on the dot. You, you... You don't have to do this. Steven, you don't have to do this. No. Please wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Boom. As Steven shot his friend, he did not know that he killed his best friend, Ben. As he dropped the gun, he saw his family call the cops. And out of fear, his 12-year-old brother, Gray, had shot his left arm, or I should say shot his left shoulder. As Stephen fleed to his car in sadness and feeling scared, he saw the grimful book in his car. But as he drove away, he saw something odd. Something odd? Huh? What? Gah! Who are you? What are you? What do you want from me? said Stephen as the mysterious girl slithered up against Stephen 
in the front seat. I am the Queen Grim. I hated the other side of me. But you can be like me, kinda. Kinda. But keep that book with you. And as of now, what I am about to do to you will change your life. Now then, this will hurt you, said the Queen Grim as her eyes glue full red. Her black clothes dimmed a bit. Her white hair stood on edge and the lines from under her eyes running down to her cheeks glue a hellish red. As she put her hands on Stephen's right side of his face, she entered through his body from his right eye. His right eye turned black and pink permanently. As he had screamed in pain, he let go of the wheel as a pink line with a mix of red went down his right cheek from under his eye permanently he was now just a vessel for the queen Grim, as she was in his body <sighs> it hurts huh oh crap said steven as he crashed into someone else's car and flung out of the windshield onto the car hood and had died. For just a few minutes he died. But the Queen Grim revived him. As he as his head was bleeding. And his nose got all twisted back into place. But... As he got back in the car, he grabbed the book from inside and passed out in the car. Ten hours later had went by that day. He woke up in prison on just a mattress. But this prison was not any ordinary person. Oh, no, 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 no. He woke up on Magiki Island. This is his cell with the book, but he was called Inmate 12. Yeah, Inmate. Wow. All right, Inmate 12, you can stay in cell 9 with Inmate 4. She's kind of a freak. Well, good luck with that. Take your book, inmate 12. Or, I should say, Stephen Kamija Kaya, said Officer Randy. As he walked away, Stephen laid down on a dirty mattress with the book and said, It is better than nothing. Huh? Whoa. Who are you, hottie? Said Stephen with a smile as the girl had hovered over him and said, You think I'm hot, huh? I see you're telling the truth. I am inmate 4, a.k.a. Amy Kimi Andrea. It's nice to meet ya, said 15-year-old Amy Kimi Andrea, as she laid her naked body next to Stephen, Amy has short green bright hair, and some of her hair covering her right eye. She has dark blue eyes and a black war paint line under her left eye. It has white skin and big boobs and a big butt and is currently naked. But as Amy told Stephen what activity would be happening tomorrow, Stephen said, A mud race of death? 
That's weird, honestly. What person does that? And why are you not wearing any clothes? <laughs> yeah, it is weird. But very dangerous. And I'm not wearing clothes because I don't want to. Also, cool eye line under it, said Amy as Steven responded. It's permanently like this because I'm possessed by a grandful entity or something, I think. Well, if it works out, I'd like to be your friend, Amy, if that's okay with you. Sure. <laughs> I I will be your friend, especially for the whole mud death race thing. Now, good night to you, said Amy, as she kissed Stephen on the lips and went to sleep naked. But Stephen was okay with this, being next to her. Stephen blushed as he went to sleep until the next day where they both will be participating in a prison activity of a death run. A deadly mud race outside the prison against other prisoner inmates. And that concludes chapter 6. But don't worry, that's not the end yet. Uh, so yes. Chapter 7. I think I, think I got up to like chapter 9. But I'll probably, I'll probably, like, save chapter 9 for a different time or whatever. I don't know. We'll see how far we get. Chapter 7, the contribute of the prison mud race of death. As of, as of me not knowing every inmate was dressed in army uniforms including me and Amy this was not just a muddy race it was a deathly skill set of hell this prison is fucked but because the Queen Grimm is in me my right eye is a demon's eye and which explains the black and pink and the pink and red line under my right eye on my face. But this hellish nightmare was only just the beginning. No! Get off of her! Oh, fuck me! My god, I killed him 820. Jammy! Hey, you okay, Amy? said Stephen as a young boy accidentally pushed Amy into a muddy, gray, mushy pit. Stephen was shocked by this, but the young boy threw a sword into Stephen's belly. He screamed as he pulled the sword out of him, but as blood spilled out of him, he screamed a lot. Gah! Ouch! Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Oh, I'm healed. Gah. Gah. Giwachi, I kill you, you damn inmate. You're inmate one, aren't you, Sammy? Said Stephen as he spoke in two voices and was on top of Sammy choking the hell out of him until Amy crawled out of the gray mud pit all covered in gray slimy mud. Amy had an angry look and ran to Sammy and kicked him in the face, knocking him out. But as Steven stood up with a smile on his face, they smiled at each other. And sat on the muddy ground five miles up against a tree from where they were originally. And talked. You know, this might sound absurd, but I thought you died. I am glad you're okay, Amy. Truly, I am, said Stephen. 
As he then looked at Sammy passed out on the ground. Then, as he aimed a gun at Sammy, he threw the pistol right next to Amy. As he then said, So what does it feel like? The mud, I mean. Oh, <laughs> um, well, very sticky and very cold, but strangely it's relaxing. But, haven't you noticed, Stephen? It's been very quiet. Wait, what the hell? Where's Sammy? Where is he? Said Amy as Stephen yelled in two voices, Extra gun! Then as Sammy punched Amy into a river, cleaning all the mud off of her, she crawled halfway out of the river and passed out. But as Sammy shot off the left side of Stephen's face, Stephen wobbled in such pain. As blood ran down his face, he fell to his knees and yelled, Ah! <laughs> Re self heal Bokoji Mamani. Then, as Stephen stood up, his left side of his face had no eye, just purple skin of a demon. As his hair turned pink, he said, Oh, you want to fight? All right, then, Sammy, let's fight, you bitch. And as of that moment, while Amy was still knocked out, Sammy felt scared. But as Stephen had control of his demonic power, he wanted to kill Sammy. And that is Chapter 7 done. All right, wait a minute, hold up. Hold up, babe. Yeah, all right. Okay, this is good. Okay, chapter eight. Stephen and Sammy fight in the muddy forest while Amy is still knocked out. Yep. You are so damned incompetent, Sammy. And this will be your last moment of your own life said Stephen as he ran to Sammy and uppercutted him. Then, as Sammy got a hold of his self, he had stood back up again and looked at Stephen. <sighs> Fuck me. I should ask for from inmate to inmate. How do you feel about dying? As Sammy heard that from Stephen... Stephen had made a finger gun and pretended to shoot himself. Sammy felt his left arm lift by itself and then pointed the pistol at his head. And as fear went through Sammy's body and soul, his finger pulled the trigger and as the damned possession overcame him, Sammy dropped the gun, and Sammy fell backwards on the muddy ground with a blank look with full white eyes. Sammy was dead, but as Stephen heard the Queen Grimm in his head giggling, he said, What's so damn funny? You know what? Actually, never mind that. The funny thing is, Queen Grimm, is that I forgot you were there inside of me. Crazy, right? Said Stephen, as he felt a pain of fear. Yes, well, you're half demon now. Can you feel the power a hell upon thy? Now sleep, said the Queen Grimm, as Stephen passed out. He soon woke up in the prison again, all dressed in black, as he saw Amy naked in the corner of the cell. Stephen saw that she was asleep, 
So as he grabbed the Grenfell book, he went to sleep next to her holding the book. That's chapter 8 done and now is the second opening song called Inmate of Desperate Luck. So you know what time it is. It's time for a black screen. I hope all of you enjoy and here we go. We cancel death, we cancel your luck. But bang, like a gun. You don't scare me, Emma, Emma, inmate. You're so power desperate. So hard to die now, wait, it's good. Power flows in. But death is not an option. Your luck, chop her up. You're so desperate. The voices in your head give you the desperation, the wrong choices. Separated inmate, desperate inmate. But boom, like a power flow, pow, bang, bang, pow, pow, bang, bang. Can you hear that? Nothing but silence of the lambs. The evil you here, you're so desperate. No savior. So, I grasp my cross, y'all I pray. On my face, a frown of failing HUD. Failing HUD is not an option as well. To be me, you aren't saving me or anybody but yourself. Such a selfish inmate. No luck, it has failed. No point to live. Inmate losing yourself, that voice in your head drives you nuts to the gunpoint. No damned inmate, pow, 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 bang, bang, now you're dead. Desperation sucks, inmate luck. Alright, well, that's season two, part one done, and I hate the sun. Could you imagine that actually rhymed? But yes, it is true. So... Viewers, stay tuned for Season 2, Part 2, and other content, obviously. Now, that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification so you're notified for new content on the channel. As usual, four options are up to you, but I highly recommend the bell notification. Now, this has been Second the Kaido Stuff Final to Anime here. Or, I should say, the 2023. I honestly keep forgetting that part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this has been Second the Kaido Stuff Final to Anime 2023 here. And, um, I'll see all of you in the next video, viewers. Peace out. Have a great time.